Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to the Climb to Master, the series that I got my main account and attempted to climb to Master. Now, I returned Diamond 1 6 LP. Uh, so, after I think I've lost three games in a row at the moment, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a win under our belt and then we'll go back up. Uh, and just to mention, again, I want to make everybody aware what's happening on the channel and everything. Uh, tomorrow is the start to unrank to Diamond. Uh, if everything works correctly, you know, tomorrow's same time upload midday should be unranked to Diamond episode one. Uh, just to kind of, you know, I'll, I'll explain everything about that series in that video. But just to kind of say about this series, Climbs Master, again, it's not going away. Uh, I still am going to get Master this season. Uh, again, I think we've done quite well considering uh, everything. Um, you know, we uh, people pointed out, and I didn't really notice. If you, but literally above my head, we we have just got recently the hundredth win on this account. Uh, so to get to our highest rating this season was eighty-seven points, Diamond One. To get to that point in less than a hundred wins, honestly, that's that's a lot better than most people. You know, who who are also in this rating bracket. Uh, we did pretty good. Uh, can I pick for someone? I want to try and pick for someone. If I could pick for the Shago, that would be really nice. Um, because, yeah, counter picks. But no, we, we've done really well. Uh, in the other um, Climb to Master series that are going on, a few other YouTubers, I'm actually doing the best. Should I just play Camille for fun? Mm. Ooh, you let me pick it. Yay, I love you. That's the first time I've ever said that to a Shaco. Um, but yeah, I've looked at the other series. Uh, again, I don't watch LOL YouTubers, just to point that out. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit weird when you're a LOL YouTuber, you probably won't watch others. Um, and yeah, he. Um, I've watched all the different ones just to kind of see where they're at the moment, and none of them are near, really. Huzzy. Hello. Am I in your video again? Oh, has he been while you are? Um, this guy apparently has been in a video before. See, the thing is, when people find out, I, I mentioned it a few, uh, oh, Timo, I mentioned it a while back. Apparently, people who watch my videos occasionally add people uh, who are in these episodes and just go, hey, you're in a Huzzy video, you know? Um, also, I get the opportunity to play a champion that I've been wanting to for quite some time. I'm going to play Rumble. People have wanted me to play Rumble for ages, and... Um, yeah, I think this is a really good opportunity to because, again, I don't get affected by the cube blind. We have an AD mid lane. Now, we've got a Shaco in the jungle, so I think it'll actually be really, really good to play Rumble. Yeah, cool. Um, I haven't played him yet this season, but I've been playing him on another account. Again, I always prepare... Uh, we'll do that. I always prepare uh, if I'm going to play something. Uh, ooh, support thingy i'm not a big fan of leona I, I think i've mentioned it before the reason why um leona isn't great uh is because she can just get ignored uh rumble um so yeah she can be really easily ignored and uh that's not really good for an ad carry most of the time all right idea of it set you know rumble oh that feels bad man uh GP then. Oh man. He doesn't have a thingy. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm so sad right now. I thought I was going to get to play him finally. And people have really wanted to see that. Well, I'm going to go for like hopefully free farm and maybe Shaco can help me in the lane phase because it's going to be annoying. Um... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm going to go exhaust because I want to just do okay in the 1v1. Uh, anyway, without much further ado, let's go in the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. And as you can see, the enemy team has a 50.6% chance to win. But let's break it down. The enemy has a Diamond 1 Misfortune, a Diamond 2 Rengar, a Master Tam, a D1 Teemo, and a D1 Echo with an extremely good win rate. Uh, on my team, a D1 uh, Talon, a D1 Leona, a D1 Gangplank as myself, a Master Jin, and a D2 Shaco with a pretty good one as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm against a Teemo, and I I've actually, I don't know, he's gone Teleport, which is a bit confusing to me. Because uh, I, I usually, you know, Teemo is the ultimate cheese top laner, and he has to win if you want to do well on him. So it's a bit weird to see him not going Teleport, but maybe, or not, well, going Teleport, but maybe he's just confident he'll beat a Gangplank anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's get in the game where we're playing GP. 
Okay, welcome to the game. Today we are playing Gangplank, one of my signature champions, or at least an old signature champion of mine. Um, but he's he's pretty bad at the moment. Uh, it's the reason why a lot of GP players either are dropping the champion or are struggling in climbing. Uh, because, yeah, he's he's very weak to what, like, meta is at the moment. Um, he gets beaten by lethality champions. There's a lot of tanks. There's a lot of engage. So, hopefully we'll be okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully they'll be okay and not die. No, okay. I'm expecting, by the way, Teemo just to be um, somewhere in the lane, just stealthed. I would predict, if I had to predict, he'd be like here. And he, minions. the minions will come in. And uh, he'll auto attack me at least twice. Maybe get a Q Thunderlord's pro. Oh, he hasn't got Thunderlord's. Oh. Oh, is he going in in uh, on hit? Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I expect to get hit by him. Oh, no, he's there. Oh, I moved out the bush at the wrong exact time. Holy moly, that was like Pink Panther timing right there. I literally walked out the bush as he walked in. I could have got a free Q auto attack with my passive on him. That would have been really good. That's annoying. Alright, so Teemo, um, not a very respected champion, obviously. Uh, throughout the years, he's uh, he's never been like true meta. He's he's occasionally been on the boundaries of it. But again, Teemo's in the kind of same pit as Quinn and stuff like that. You're basically playing him to cheese. Like, again, this isn't insulting people. This is literally what this champion is designed for. And that's fine. You, you get cheese champions all the time. Um, and he's basically designed just to shut down his lane opponent. He's designed to basically stop his lane opponent from playing League as much as he possibly can. And that's the goal. Um, if he stops them, then he can do really, really well. By the way, Talon just got first blood all the way into their jungle. So I imagine Ta um, Echo was trying to get away desperately. So that's kind of interesting. But Ta Talon still got it, which is good. Damn, I thought he was going to walk into it. Uh, but again, playing GP at the moment, you're a little bit weak. But as always with Gangplank, you don't you don't risk it in the early game. You are a late game champion through and through. Do not risk your early game because you want to have one or two extra CS. I'm literally missing everything. Um, so yeah, don't worry about missing CS. Obviously, I've missed three CS that I probably should have got. But what I mean is don't walk up into like getting a cannon or something if you're going to get auto attack like three or four times. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's not worth it. it. It's really not worth it. So just kind of play passive and just play smart. Uh, it's the better way of uh, doing well on this champ. Wonder if Shaco's going to early gank. Okay, he's here. Um... But yeah, we'll see what we can do. I think I could probably start, like, killing him when I get ult. Potentially. It's probably warded. Yeah, it's 100% warded. It's not worth ganking if he's got it warded in the early game. Because, again, I don't want to be put behind in a counter gank or anything. I want to just kind of farm and just do normal stuff. Yeah, it was warded. Um, so it's not worth risking it like crazy if it's going to risk us dying. So as long as... Well, if it's a free kill, take it. If it's not, then whatever. He's back here, stealthed. So he basically, Teemo's playstyle, he just waits until he thinks it's safe and then he'll start auto-attacking again. Ta-da! He thinks it's safe. To be honest, he actually hasn't been punishing me that much. Which is a little bit weird to see from a Teemo because that's what that whole champion is designed to do. He's probably like here. Looking for an auto attack again. Just don't give it to him. It's the best way to play against him is pretend you're not really playing against like anything. Just play passive and farm from behind. Right, I'm going to go back because that's my sheen and that's a pretty big item if I wanted to kill him. Because it gives me the Magia. Okay, bot lane. Does look he's actually taking his time uh, to 
get anywhere. Yeah. Uh, right, going the support item. One, for increased gold. Two, it's more for the mana regen. I'm against the Pope Champion. I actually might rely on my W to heal me quite a lot. Uh, if he pokes me down, use W to heal, because obviously it's a, it's a little bit of a heal. Um, but that requires mana. And that's why I'm buying this item. So it's 25% base mana regen. I get gold. I get a bit of AP, which also helps further in uh, health that I gain. Also, if I start managing to poke him, then I get more uh, gold as well. Because I actually don't think I've gone for a single Q on him so far. Which, again, I don't really care for doing that. Yes, it's gold that I've been basically missing. But it, this game for me is all about just surviving the early game. And then just transitioning into a strong mid-late game. And uh, hopefully I'll just outscale him. Oh, I really need level 6. Oh, mama. Can I get level 6 from these? Yeah. That was really good. So I, I was like, there's a fight going on bot lane. I need 6. Literally just try to get it and then level up. That was uh, a little bit cutting it close, I'm going to be honest. But it's good. I get a kill now. And I'm ahead of CS. That's quite nice versus a team though. I don't know whether I'm going to buy MR in the early game. Or do I not care about it? Oh, that didn't link. Oops. So what's he doing? Is Wait, is he going Sterics first item? If he's going Sterics first item... He's under the impression that I care about him in a 1v1. But I don't. Again, if you're ever against the lane that's just annoying to you, don't care about the 1v1. Look at the bigger picture because it's way more important. And what does that exactly mean? Because some people are like, what does that mean? Um, I'm not going to fight him in a 1v1. I'll just look for ultimates and scale into late game and then just do amazing in team fights. Um, so yeah. I'm perfectly fine with him building Sterics and stuff like that because it will lessen his strength on me, but it's giving him more survivability. But if I don't focus on killing him, then it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Cool. All right, Rengar's all the way down there. He moves quite quick, doesn't he? Goddamn knife cat. Yeah, that is a little bit annoying, not going to lie. <laughs> but he shouldn't do a lot if he's not going AP. Rengar used ult. Nice. There's something going on in their jungle. I got ult in 25. Nice. Not nice. What's happening? Are they going to get that? Maybe. Oh, really good W. That was a brilliant W, man. Oh, the only missed. I'm presuming he's just going to want to just split push against me. Uh, I'm going to go back. Let the, po the poison was a bit annoying there. Actually, actually, if, if Shaco comes, I think we can kill him. Depends how greedy this team always. Uh, Shaco's not even coming. Oh. I don't know why he's ignoring top lane. Like, it is a Teemo. It should be a relatively free kill. Okay, that, took, that actually should give me time to go back. Never mind. Damn. I got no mana now. That's fine. Alright, we go like this and this, and also boots. And we're pretty much laughing. Okay, three bot lane. Head back to top. I've got my ultimate. Uh, let me just let my team know, because obviously that's a big ult. Uh, if you're looking for a play around the map somewhere, then knowing that you've got G uh, Gangplank ult to help you is always really, really good. Um, dragon? I, I think we should look to do Dragon. Everybody on our team comp uses mana, so it would be not a complete waste of getting. And also it unlocks more dragons, obviously. 
Because if you just leave that one there for ages, then you're not going to actually get any more dragons for a while. <laughs> I can time that well. <laughs> Two kills, baby. So, the team was building tank, and this is my point. I don't care. Why would I? I'm getting stuff around the map, and he's doing nothing in EVO. Like, he's ahead in CS. Okay. But I've got map pressure with my ultimate. Like, he's got teleport, by the way. He could look for plays around the map, but I just... I don't think he's going to. It's not a, in Teemo's nature to roam and look for kills like that. So, yeah. Oh, you put me over a shroom. Words mean nothing. Flesh carries weight. Am I okay? No. Oh, that did more damage than I thought. Whoa, a thousand damage with Toxic Shot, even though he's AD. Damn, I made a big mistake. I got cocky because it's just Teemo. Uh, don't get uh, over cocky when you don't really respect the champion. It's one of the problems. That's bad for me. But a humbug. I should be able to kill him now, though. I would think. Because he doesn't have flash. I've been kind of scared of that flash uh, for most of the lane phase. But damn, I'm disappointed with myself. Huzzy. Hello. Did you know? We have a 100% win rate. In one game? <laughs> is, it, is it how many games? <laughs> oh, I don't remember people. I'm really sorry for that guy. Three? Nice, dude. Damn, me, me and this guy should start a team. I don't know why they're being salty when Echo is relatively easy to play. Like, the hardest thing about Echo is timing your ultimate. And in this rating, that's, oh, that's not very hard. Why would you build that? I don't get it. Like I'm, like I'm. I don't know why you'd go that build versus a gangplank. I can buy this when I go back, by the way. But yeah, I don't know why. Again, I changed my game plan. Like that mistake where he just killed me. That was me being an idiot, not not Teemo. Um, because I changed my game plan. My game plan was not don't care about him in the one v one. But then I tried to get a kill in one v one. So that was my mistake. But if I continue with my game plan that I originally had, which was working, of not caring him, I don't know why you'd build that. I suppose he hasn't been ganked yet, but I don't know. That would be nice. Hmm. I'm not going to get any help. This is poop. I was tempted to use ult for it, but nah. Uh, this Rengar's had, well, one and five. This Rengar's had a bad game. Suppose what this like example is, is like if Rengar just gets countered every way. Report him rage quit? I doubt he rage quit. Most times when people say rage quit, they don't rage quit at all. A lot of the time that they just like alt F4 and then come back like two seconds. Really? I went to all I clicked auto attack that, but it didn't let me auto attack it. Like what? Talon reported? What did Talon do? Champion is too You're reporting somebody for picking a champion? What? That's a new one. I've never heard that one before, I'm gonna be honest. Like Huh? Like, this Echo, you can tell, is kind of a rager. And to call yourself the legend as well, you can kind of think he's got a bit of an ego on him. So, yeah. Interesting game. Um, I will, by the way, some people say, oh, don't upload this type of video. I'm going to upload this one because it frees up the rest of the day for me to actually probably start recording on Ranked to Diamond. So, yeah. What I'd say this game, though, if we talk about this game 
uh, about what what could have been better for me as a, as a gangplank. What could have happened better? Uh, a big part of what could have been better, honestly, would have been uh, pressure in top lane. Like, the Shaco, you know, it's not his fault because I asked the, for a trade of champion, but I was like, hey, can I rumble? And then suddenly he's like, I don't know, rumble. So it's like, okay, so I'm suddenly on a champion that I didn't really want to be on. Um, so that sucks in the first place. And uh, then I get zero pressure in top lane as well. So that is just annoying to deal with. And it's a little bit it's sucky for me that I literally got nothing. Um, but I, I think I played it well apart from that one big mistake. Like if When you look at this game... I did quite well, apart from that one big thing where I tried to 1v1 him. Like, that was just stupid. My whole game plan, this whole game, was to avoid the Teemo. Like, that was it. It was to not care about Teemo, but then I cared about him. And that, oh, whoops. And that that caring about him, that trying to 1v1 him, costed me a 1v1 kill, which is really bad. As I've said to you guys for, like, years, if you ever die in a 1v1, you've made a mistake. And that was definitely a mistake by me. So, yeah. That's what you can take from this game, basically, is if you have a game plan, stick to it. Uh, it's what I, so I, I actually watch um, quite a lot of low rating play now. Um, I watch a stream called Salty Teemo. It highlights Bronze 5 uh, games. It's really interesting to watch stuff down there because their idea of League of Legends is a lot different than higher. Or even like in, in not even that higher. Um, so, yeah. See ya. Well... I'm not getting any help this game. I'm just going to say, can I get any help this game? It's really annoying. And flap. Oh, bot lane. See, the Rengar's here. I you probably just ult f out of, like, frustration of getting wrecked and then he came back. It's still bad. Don't do that. Like, it's a bit stupid to do, but he's dead now. <laughs> he, like, jumped in two places but didn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> uh, there's no point being him a Teemo. He knows he's not playing a skillful champion. Like, he knows. You, you don't play Teemo and think you're playing a skillful champion. Like, let's be honest. Everybody that plays Teemo knows. They uh, they play League for, let's say, more enjoyment than anything else. Which is fine. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm level 11 now. It's pretty big for me. Oh, she walked over a shroom. Damn. Oh, I can't believe she walked into a shroom. Talon should be able to get both. If you cut him off the top way. No, someone needs to cut him off the top way. He's in here, probably. Oh no, Talon. Oh, I don't know where he's gone. Alright, we'll get our 45% cooldown reduction now. That's why I want these boots, by the way. I, I don't know. I think Rengar either just went down here or he went in like one of these bushes. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, Echo's probably just going to split push for ages. The guy's doing that. Uh, I guess I'll just go like mid lane roughly. Just like point and shoot. Okay, that's Teemo TP. Can't believe he's 5 1. <laughs> I guess it's just the way that this game's worked out, but whatever. Um, yeah, guys, swear. Like, I, most top laners would probably have that with zero pressure. Uh, or it, it'll work out all right for you. Like, again, there's very limited... Like, what I'll say is if you've got a top player that's against, like, a Teemo or a Quinn or something, sometimes it's worth giving them a little bit of help because they're the opposition, the Teemo, the Quinn. They are a true lane bully. Like I mentioned, that playstyle of that champion is to deny the opponent from playing League of Legends. 
So if you get the person ahead, they'll just wreck. Like, there, there'll be nothing that they can do. I'm not going to steal it. I don't want to steal a kill with my ultimate like I could, but... Nah. I'm not going to steal that one either. I can help with that one. I got assists. Woo! I haven't had assists this game yet. And we win. Uh, so yeah, interesting game. Um, what I'd say is what you can take away from this episode is how to play against Teemo, but apart from the one mistake. So ignore that one mistake, and I openly admit that was a big mistake by me. Ignore that mistake, and that's how you play against Teemo, is you don't basically play to it against him. If you try to beat a Teemo in lane, and you're trying to trade with him, and you're auto-attacking him, trying to kill him, you're probably going to lose. Unless it's a really bad Teemo, it, you're probably going to lose because that's what his champion is designed for. Gangplank isn't designed to trade against somebody that has poke uh, and has a blind and has slow. Like, he's not designed to do that. So just don't. So yeah, again, apart from that one big mistake, that's how you play against him. Because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think Teemo's this OP pick in low rating. He's really bad if you just basically ignore, ignore him. So... Anyway, uh, 332, uh, B+, plus, 139 CS. And honestly, I'm quite happy with that. It's, it's fine with me. Was having zero pressure from my jungler top lane in it, against a team on a 1v1 who didn't really punish me apart from the one kill that I let him have. I think that's fine. Uh, and then we'll go into the damage. And uh, damage-wise, we basically did nothing again. We It was one of those games that we're an island in top lane and even more so an island because we're alone and no jungle pressure from either jungler, really. And then I'm against a laner that I can't beat. So it's just one of those island games. And what I'd say is if this game were to continue, how it would have gone, I'm a Gangplank, he's a Teemo. He may have wanted to split push, I'm okay with that because I can one-shot minion waves in late game with my barrels. But if I were to get a team fight, that's where I would have shined. Gangplank as a team fighting champion with barrels, that's where I would have come into this game. But I didn't need to because my team already won. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, we've got Unranked to Diamond starting tomorrow if everything works out correctly. Um, but then furthermore... This series will not be stopping. I am still going to be doing this series. It's probably going to be an extra video for the day. Not every day, obviously. I've still got my A to Z series. And what I might do is alternate them whenever I'm doing them. Um, there will be at least a couple episodes of this every single week. Maybe three episodes a week. And it's, it's just going to be you know more updates you know it'll be like okay so last episode was, th was three days ago we were here now we're here and here's a commentary so that's the idea um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did throw a like on it subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys next time see you.